How much does it cost to sell a house? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty, and today we're chatting about the costs associated in selling a house. So the first one's gonna be your loan payoff. How much do you currently own the house? You can call your bank or look at your most recent mortgage statement to get a good idea of what your current payoff is. And if you happen to be one of those homeowners with a zero mortgage, congratulations, that's a heck of an accomplishment. The second expense is gonna be the real estate commissions. Now it's against the law for me to say the average real estate commission is X, Y, or Z. What I can tell you at the Chubb Homes team, our average commissions range from four to 7% with the 5% being our most popular marketing package. The stamp tax is Massachusetts way of saying, hey, look, this is our transfer tax. How that one works is it's $4.56 per thousand. So for every $100,000 sold, we owe the state of Massachusetts $456 as home sellers. If you happen to own a condo, then you are gonna to have to most likely get condo docs a budget, and you're gonna be required by law to get a 6D in order for the property to close. For larger associations, we do notice that some fees are actually charged for the generation of these documents. If you're a single family owner, you might be on private septic. If that's the case, you're gonna to need to get a Title V done in order to sell your house. Now, what is a Title V? Title V is an independent person coming out and evaluating your septic system and either giving it a passing or failing grade. The cost associated with the Title V isn't necessarily the improvements to the septic system. Another cost would be the home warranty. A home warranty, if applicable, and through a negotiation, you decided to throw in a home warranty for a buyer, you're ultimately looking at five to $700 for a home warranty. This is gonna cover a buyer for all major appliances, as well as your furnace, as well as your um, hot water heater, and really give them coverage and peace of mind. Again, this is a great tool to use in a negotiation, specifically home inspection negotiations. You're also gonna have your attorney fee. This one is gonna be a requirement. You're gonna need an attorney in order to at least draft your deed. But a real estate attorney is also a really, really, really highly suggested thing in order to help draft your purchase, and sale, purchase and sale agreement, as well as just generally represent you throughout the negotiation. Closing cost credits are something that you might ultimately hear. This is generally something that's negotiated in the beginning of the transaction. And this is where a seller gives a buyer a certain amount of money to help put towards their closing cost, otherwise known as closing cost assistance. You're also gonna have a smoke inspection fee where you have the city or the municipality that you live in come out to your house, check to make sure that your current smoke detectors as well as your carbon dioxide detectors are up to current code. And then some miscellaneous fees. These miscellaneous fees are gonna range from courier fees to payoff fees to just the small, small little fees. So those are the costs associated with selling a house. That smoke inspection fee generally in the ballpark is $50 plus any smoke detectors that you might have to purchase. That condo fee, if it's applicable, uh, we've seen it up to $500. It really all depends on the condo association that you're dealing with. Attorney fees generally range somewhere in the ballpark of $750 to $1,500 for a seller representation in the closing of their property. I'm Jeff Chubb, my team, the Chubb Homes team. We're here to answer any questions you might have as well as talk to you about your own specific situation and break down your net sale proceeds for your specific house should you need any help. And if you find this information helpful as well as anything else real estate related in, have any questions then please reach out to us but also please uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button below thanks for watching we look forward to hearing from you and hope you're having a great day